Um, it's been really different. It's hard to imagine a more accurate description of Grace Southard's first day as a freshman at Dixie High School. Um, it's definitely been hard. Southard doesn't mind learning remotely from the comfort of her dining room table while her brother studies in a home office a few feet away, but she definitely misses being able to see her classmates and teachers in person. I haven't seen some of these people since March, and it's kind of like seeing some of these people today. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that or them and so i think it'll be it'll be good to go back kenton county school leaders hope to have the district's 14,500 students back in their school buildings by the end of september kentucky's governor asked that public schools delay in-person classes until then to try to slow the spread of covid 19. by video superintendent henry webb shared this message for all those young people this morning to our students please know that we miss having you in our buildings Thank you for your resiliency and perseverance as we navigate through this unprecedented time. Southard says she discovered an upside of remote learning on this unique first day of class. I've kind of actually liked it because I like so much wasted time during the school day so that like once the teacher's done, like I went upstairs and cleaned my room for a minute. This 14 year old is clearly trying to make the most of a challenging set of circumstances. I think since we've been isolated for a long time that it's not really a, as bad as it would be. Yeah, not necessarily as bad as some students might have thought. Now, not every student's experience was the same today. I've heard some stories about lagging video and internet connectivity uh, problems. Those are things district leaders and families will need to fix in the coming days because full time remote learning is now a fixture in this district, at least until the end of next month. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Uh